The time for action is now. and need to get somewhere urgently, quickly to be healed, to get treatment. You will have to go several more miles to the Royal Free. seen how much this hospital cares for the community but it wasn't until today that I saw how much the community cared for this hospital. We are fully behind this campaign and I'll tell you now if this the workers at this hospital go on strike then I will put it to my workers at my garage that we will back you and we will go on strike as well. We are defending the hospital campaign at Coalition who in fact chaired our first meeting with Gary Weber who's the president of Islington Trade Union. The same collection of dickheads as we speak uh, will be coming up with ideas like closing the A&E at University College Hospital, closing the A&E at the Royal Free, and I've been trying to think where this policy comes from. And I've realised now it's a policy of cut out the middleman. If you run over in the road, you'll go straight to the funeral parlour and not to the accident and emergency. So all I say is, say no to this and keep on saying no. And I'm reasonably confident, no will be the answer if we keep on fighting. This is not about bureaucrats, this is government policy. They need to go. This is our life, our health, our NHS. Use your residents' associations, join the coalition. A good fight is an organised fight, and we're fighting for our lives on this. Now, Keep Our NHS Public started in 2005 when we saw what was happening, and with our tiny resources, we've managed to make a great uh, fight. But we need more people to join us, and I hope you will do that. And I hope we'll go on to get a pan-London response. I don't want them operating in secret as they are. I don't want them bringing up a series of options, all of which involve cuts, closures and the loss of local health facilities. As others have said, there's been a hospital on this site for several hundred years. The NHS was founded to provide health care for everybody free at the point of use. I value the NHS. It is the most civilised thing that exists in this country.